friends happy tuesday and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan today i have a big grocery haul it's our weekly grocery haul for you from ingles this week i hardly ever shop at ingles um it's just kind of expensive going to ingles to me is like going to kroger i'm gonna walk out of there spending at least 200 dollars and um it just has a little bit more variety than the kroger's near me you have lots of different like specialty foods at Ingles, which I do really like when I need something particular. Um, it's just kind of expensive to do my weekly grocery shopping. So I did like bust the budget this week going there, but I needed some non-food like household items that I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get at Aldi. Um, Ingles had a sale on the laundry detergent that we use. So I knew I was gonna go there for that. And I was planning on hitting Ingles first and then going over to Aldi. But then this morning I just made the decision I was only going to one store because I had the kids with me today and I knew I would probably have spent more than the, what I spent just at Ingles if I would have gone to both stores because I would have made like a bunch of impulse purchases at Ingles and then gone and done the same thing at Aldi. So I just probably saved myself some money even though I spent more than I would typically on a week at Aldi. Um, I typically try to stay around 150 or less. Um, last week I only spent 102 so it kind of evens out when I end up spending like over 200 one week at either Kroger or Ingles. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meal plan for the week and then we'll get into the haul. Okay, here is the meal plan for the week. I did not bother writing anything out for breakfast or lunch. We've got stuff on hand, um, so we'll work it out or have leftovers. So for dinners, we've got barbecue pulled pork flatbreads with salad. My stepdad actually gave us some barbecue pulled pork that he made in the crock pot, so I'm going to use that for that. Then we're gonna do a beef stew with some rolls, Olive Garden chicken gnocchi soup with breadsticks, crock pot beanie weenies and salad. I'm gonna make like homemade beanie weenies well not necessarily homemade i'm gonna use like little smokies and some pork and beans and throw in the crock pot so we are not tempted to eat out that day and then magic crispy baked shrimp with smashed potatoes and salad enchilada bake and crock pot chicken piccata with salad and that is the meal plan for the week okay here is everything that we got today at ingles as i said i had the kids with me so i'm made some extra purchases because they were with me um and then just because we were at a store that had more variety we made some extra purchases so starting over here i got some sour cream andy knew that i was going to ingles so he asked for a crab dip so i got this cajun crab dip and then i also got some imitation crab they didn't have the little single packets that i usually like to buy so i just got one of these i got some premium orange juice not from concentrate some whole milk Greek vanilla yogurt, deluxe American cheese, French onion dip, and then for lemonade, they had this Florida's Natural Strawberry Lemonade, and then they had the Ingalls brand in the just lemonade. It's supposed to be like the Simply Lemonade. This one is not from Concentrate, which is like the Simply Lemonade. This one doesn't say it's not from Concentrate, so I assume that it is. Um, but they didn't have an Ingalls brand that was a strawberry lemonade. So I got the Florida's Natural of that, just the regular lemonade in the Ingalls brand. And then I got some more of this Coffee Cake Planet Oat Oat Milk Creamer. I love this stuff. I think it is delicious. Got some 2% milk for Andy and the kids. A thing of butter. Um, this Tillamook Seriously Strawberry Cream Cheese looked and sounded so good and it was on sale for like 288 so I got that we got some cheese sharp cheddar cheese snack bars some sliced sharp cheddar some shredded Mexican blend and some shredded sharp cheddar and these like shredded cheeses were on sale for like $1.50 a bag which I thought was a pretty good deal then I got some garlic breadsticks to have with our chicken gnocchi soup these muffin mixes were on sale for 88 cents, so I got a ton of them. I got blueberry, birthday cake, strawberry, lemon poppy seed, 
and two of the wild berry and I will turn those into little mini muffins because kids love mini muffins but to buy them like this and make them yourself versus buying a box of them way better deal you get it says 18 mini muffins out of this yeah so we'll have lots of different flavored mini muffins Andy asked for some Chef RD, um, specifically spaghetti and meatballs and beefaroni so I got three cans of each the kids picked these Super Mario spaghettios and meatballs and then I needed some pork and beans for a dinner that I'm making um, and it was cheapest to buy this huge can than buying like four little cans so I got that Lily wanted some peanut butter and cheese crackers so we got those we got one box of cereal bars which the price on these the kids they always say how much they love Ingles they're like it's such a nice store it's so nice we're gonna shop here when we're grown up so I was like no you won't I promise you you won't and then they started paying attention to the prices on things and Lily was like I won't shop here when I'm a grown-up you you spend too much money <laughs> so she learned that it was a lot because the boxes of these cereal bars the Ingles brand Laura Lynn these were like 350 and they are under two dollars at Aldi so they just picked one to share for this week and we'll get more at Aldi next week. Got some chili powder. The Spadia brand was cheaper than buying the Ingles brand. Um, but the Laura Lynn Parsley Flakes were cheaper than any other brand. So I got that. Then I got some beef bouillon. I need to get my Nor beef bouillon, but I have to go to the little, um, the supermercado, the Hispanic grocery store. Um, there's like a bunch of them. I just have to run in there and get some things like the Nora beef bouillon. But this was only like $1.78 and it makes 28 cups of beef broth. So I got that for now. Got a thing of the Ingles brand Rotel. Diced tomatoes and green chilies. We got a thing of apple juice. Some toasterlicious toaster pastries. Frosted strawberry flavor. These townhouse dipping fins for the crab dip. Some plain bagels for that strawberry cream cheese, honey wheat bread. The kids asked for Pringles, so I let them each pick one. Elijah picked sour cream and onion. Lily picked salt and vinegar. We got some eggs. These were kind of expensive. The Eggland's best eggs were actually the cheapest ones. Um, I think this is $6.38 for a dozen and a half of the Eggland's best eggs. Cheaper than the Laura Lynn brand by like 10 cents or something. So, I got those. Elijah has been asking to try these Cheez-It Puffed. So I got those in the white cheddar flavor. And then we got some rippled potato chips to eat with that French onion dip that we got. For produce, we got some bananas, romaine lettuce, a big thing of the Angel Sweet Tomatoes. They didn't have any of the like variety color ones that Lily likes, but I figured she would like those. Um, we got some baby spinach, broccoli, two bags of these little potatoes, pears, and apples. Lily specifically wanted to try these because they were like a dark red color. They're Macintosh apples, which I don't know that she's ever had, but we got those. A cucumber, strawberries, which smell amazing. This smells so good. Um, some Markdown meat. This which was originally $4.88 a pound for some 80-20 ground chuck, but it was marked down to $3.49 a pound. So I got this for $12, and it's just right at 3.5 pounds. And then this is some boneless pork chops that have been tenderized. Um, this package was $1.17, and this package was $1.13. They are just over half a pound each so I'll put all that together and freeze that in one bag and that'll be a dinner and then this is like three pounds of some country style ribs um, this is 450 for this package of country style ribs usually it was um, it says with card 636 but before that it was 1021 um, 318 a pound or $1.98 a pound, but I got it for $1.39 a pound. So we'll have some country style ribs here soon. 
And then for the non-food that we needed, the laundry detergent, this is the Tide that we use, the Simply All-in-One. Uh, we like it, leaves our clothes smelling good, especially this with the combination of the Lysol laundry sanitizer. Our clothes smell great. And this was on sale for $9.98. Got some Colgate Sensitive Whitening Toothpaste, that's what Andy and I use. And then some mouthwash, cotton swabs, Q-tips, because we were out. Uh, we got some different flavors of gum because the kids have been liking gum. We got some bubble gum, Trident, and some Tropical Twist Trident. Um, paper plates, parchment paper. This unbleached compostable parchment paper was the best deal. And then these were in their like markdown section, some little bowls and plates. They're the Zach brand. They were marked down to $1.74 each. So each kid got a bowl, which it's Minecraft. So we've got panda on there. Pandas on there, yeah. And then plates with creepers and fox and berries and trees. Build, explore, create. Again, $1.74. They each got a bowl and they each got a plate. But that is everything that I got at Ingles today. Okay, as I said at the beginning, I did spend more than I typically would spend. The total was over $200. Exact amount will be here on the screen. If I remember correctly, it was around $221, which I don't think is too bad. I did get like some markdown meat, you know, laundry, like soap and household items like that can be pretty pricey. I was honestly expecting to spend closer to 250 or over 250 because the store's just really expensive and that's why I much prefer going to Aldi every week. It helps me not buy so many impulse items because they don't have that much to pick from um, and also why I prefer to shop without kids because they're like can we get this, can we get this, can we get this and once I stopped doing that then I was like Okay, you can pick this because I know you like that and you can pick this because I know you like that. Um, yeah, it's just a lot. Now I'm gonna go put all of this stuff away, but I hope that y'all enjoyed this haul. Let me know in the comments down below if you have Ingles near you. I know it's like the Southeast only has it, I'm pretty sure. Like, I think there's some maybe in Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee maybe, Georgia. Um, I'm not sure. So let me know if you have Ingles near you and if you shop there or if you find it to be rather expensive like I do. But I hope y'all have a good week and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!